It's fine. Hi, good morning, everybody from my side. How are you? It's been a long time. I'm around. If you can hear the noise behind me, hmm. my daughter, she's wearing my, my heels. And she's, she's expecting not to fall. Can you believe it, guys? I miss you guys. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's not sunny today, but we are hoping for the best. I wonder how this UK summer works. <laughs> yeah. This morning, I am making some pies. Last week, I made some pies. It was amazing. Today, we are repeating it. You know, the Saturday must almost always start with bacon. So, this is me rubbing in my flour. I have my filling ready. So, I'll just rub in the butter and the flour and then just keep it in the fridge for some time. And we start the... Be careful. Nyamedo, can you please take off the shoes? Please. Okay? You don't want to get hurt. Yeah. Yep. So this morning, I just wanted to come to you guys live because last week has been very busy. My brother is getting married and the focus was there. Hello, thanks for joining me live. I want to say a big thank you to all my followers. I'm so grateful for you guys, for all your support, your comments, your likes. In fact, a special shout out to some of you who reached out to me personally and said you know what we've not seen you post for three days is everything okay oh my god i was so excited to hear from you you know yourself i'm grateful to you girl i'm grateful to all of you for reaching out to me checking up on me you know we need each other right so you have taught me one thing by showing me that kindness that I need to check up on people online if I'm not hearing up, hearing from them because you know what, this is online. It's not like the physical businesses where the traditional businesses where you walk into the person's office, you know. So thanks for that. Thanks for checking up on me. I'm so, so grateful to you. I just wanted to pass by here. Wish you a happy weekend. If you if you're anywhere close to my house, pass by for some meat pie. <laughs> if you want me to ship some to you, send me the address. And I'll be happy to do that. You know, talking about that, we just have to rub it in, isn't it? Thanks for joining me. Tell me where you're watching from. Hi, hello, hello, thanks for coming in. We have to wrap the business in a bit. We have to because you know what? That's what's making us do this. You get what I mean? If I was working my three jobs, my warehouse jobs, I'm telling you by now, I would be so exhausted. I'll be in bed. Trust me. But because of this business, I can sleep late, wake up late, <laughs> and I get to do this. I love baking, and so I have time to do this as well, you know? It's amazing what this business has done for me, trust me. It's amazing, and it can do the same for you. I don't know what you love doing, but you can do those things. You don't have to spend all your time working for somebody. Hmm? Yesterday, I was on social media. I can't remember where I was. But I saw something that hit me. I mean, that thing is, it's always hitting me. But it's like anytime you see it somewhere, it hits you differently, right? So there was this, I think the person is a comedian. He's here in the UK. He's a nurse as well. But he was talking about how if you, if you work um, night shifts for a year, continuously for a year, you will not be allowed to witness fully in court or something like that. If I'm, if I'm wrong, correct me, guys. 
And it got me interested. I, I, he was like, let me explain. I said, okay, let me listen to what this guy has to say. And he said that it is research or studies have shown that if you work night shifts continuously for a year, you don't get enough sleep, right? So it reduces your thinking ability. I was like, okay, okay, hit it, hit it. It reduces your thinking ability. So they they see you to be not sort of in quotes capable to be a witness or something in court or what what not. And it made sense because I have personally read somewhere that if you don't have enough sleep, you tend to forget things. I've read it somewhere. And so when I read that, I think this was years ago. And since I read that, I decided by eight o'clock I'll sleep, I'll wake up at night to pray and I'll go back to sleep and get enough rest, right? But it's so true. If you don't sleep, if you don't have enough sleep, I mean, just look at if just one day, if you don't have enough sleep, how you become so, you know, disorganized. Everything is just basa for you that day if you don't get enough sleep. So, guys, why put yourself through that? Working extra shifts, long hours, building someone else's empire. And they just give you a fraction of the money that comes in. You only get a tiny fraction. While you can get it all for yourself by working for yourself. So my brothers, my sisters, ladies, gentlemen, whoever you are on my page, wherever you are, this is a great opportunity for you. Start your own digital business. You don't have to be there physically, okay? This business will teach you, it would help you to grow, it would develop you. It is a business, but I'm telling you, what you gain from this business is, is, is just amazing. So give yourself the chance to learn. You can do this if only you are ready to learn, if only you are coachable. We will teach you everything. You don't need to be tech savvy. You don't need to have a degree in business or have even a degree. You can do this business. If you're on social media, you can do this business. Turn the scrolling into a payroll. Let us help you. Okay? This business is not difficult. It's not. It's very, very simple. If only you are ready to learn, follow instructions. Because the training is video-based, right? You just watch you do. It's just like copy and pasting. When you're on your computer, you do copy and paste. But the difference between our business is that even though you are copying and pasting, it is always updated. So you are not copying and pasting something outdated. It's always updated. So guys, give yourself a chance. Trust yourself and just do this for you. Do this for your family. Do this for, <coughs> sorry, your generations yet unborn. Okay? I love the fact that I can hand over this business to my children. I keep, if you've been on my page for a long time, you would realize that I always talk about this. Because, I mean, why are you working? If not to build a legacy for yourself and your family, right? So if I can hand over this to my kids, why not? I cannot hand over my job to my kids. It is the harsh reality. So just weigh your options how you are killing yourself working for somebody. Just ask yourself, at the end of the day, apart from that pension you receive, what else? Just think about it and give yourself that chance. There is nothing under the sun that you cannot do if you put your mind to it. So give yourself the chance. Give yourself, you know, the opportunity to learn to change your life, to change your story. That story will not change just by praying. It's not going to change. I'm not saying prayer is bad though. Prayer is good. Prayer is the key. But faith without works, zero. It's like cost 90. I'm a mathematician. If you pick your, 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 scientific, your scientific calculator, right? And you press cost, there's a, there's a cost on it, COS, okay? And you, Press course and add 90 to it and press equal to. Check the answer. It will give you zero. So this course 90, course 90 you hear. It's not just a term. It's a mathematical thing. Course 90 is zero. 
So if you have faith, you are praying, asking God to come down from heaven, but you're not doing anything, you're folding your arms. What is God going to work with? Guys, start changing the mentality. There's a book that one of my pastors wrote. He says, not by prayer. Go and look for that book and read it. It was written by a very seasoned man of God, not by prayer. It's not written that is by prayer, please. So don't sit down and say, oh, I'm a, I'm a child of God. God will do this. God will do that. God will do. But if you don't give God something to work with, he's not going to come down from heaven to do anything for you, please. Not everything is by prayer. Prayer is good. I believe in prayer. 100%, but it's not everything that is by prayer. So if you want to change your own story, if you want to change your own life, take matters into your own hands. Hi, Daniel. Hello, Albi. Thanks for joining me. You know, it's been a long time I came here. I just wanted to come and share. All right, so our butter is filled in. I just have to add water and I'll keep it in the fridge. Good morning. Good morning, Daniel. The children are doing well by God's grace. I'm sure you can hear them on the background making noise. Mm, they don't have a problem. Yeah, their mother is building the legacy for them. If you were you, if they were you, what would you do? Let them have fun. Yeah, this is what we all wish our parents could have done for us. If your parents could not give you this, don't deny your children. Do it for them. Do it for them. Don't sit down and fold your arms. Do it for your children. Yes, Albi says, sure, help yourself first and the Lord would see you through. Exactly. Exactly. If you are a farmer, if you don't put anything in the ground, you are expecting to see the mangoes and the yams and the cassavas and the peppers and whatever. It doesn't work that way. That's not how God made it. So something has to give. You need to do something for God to give God something to work with. Right? He cannot, God cannot just, you know, make things. He can, but I'm telling you, it's, I don't think it's, it's common like that. There are those that God would just do things for them, even without them trying. But how many of them do you know? I don't know anybody like that. So, like they say, heaven helps those who help themselves, right? If you don't study, how will you pass the exam? If you don't work, how would you earn? If you don't earn, how would you live the life that you want to live? How can you provide for your children, your family? Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. So my dear brothers and sisters out there, I have to, you know, get back to the baking. There, there's a lot of things on my plate. Hi, Kweku Bediakon. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for joining me. It's been a long time, brother. Get in touch, please. Don't be a stranger. You've been a stranger for long. Or I have been a stranger. I don't even know. <laughs> you know, so guys, if I'm here today, it's the opportunity is there. As long as you're ready. You, I'm telling you, this business does not interfere with your job. It doesn't. It runs on automation. So if you are there thinking, is this real? It is real. <laughs> Kweku, this wedding is strictly by invitation. And I'm not the one who did the list. Forgive me, please. And besides, can you travel from where you are to where the wedding is? Mm? I'll tell you about it in private. Don't worry, this is not the platform for the wedding. I'll probably create another platform for the web so that you come and bash me. <laughs> anyway, your invites can still come. Don't worry. The wedding is like for three days. So it started yesterday. Today is ongoing. Tomorrow it continues. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. So like I'm saying, this business doesn't interfere with your nine to five or your 10 to six or your eight to four, whatever time you work or your night shift jobs it doesn't it runs on automatic 
So even while you sleep, your business works for you. So if you want to have that business, really, really want to have a business on the side, I'm telling you, this is the way forward. All those businesses we had back home, we are not there to take care of. People spend our monies. Things have changed. It is all online now. So guys, let's all make that decision. Give ourselves the chance to build something for ourselves. Those who just joined me, I was just saying, you can't hand over your job to your children, but you can hand over this business to your children. This is a business that is legal. You register it. Okay, you pay your taxes. You file for your taxes. Hi, Lily. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. You file for taxes. So you can hand it, you can wail it to your children or anybody that you love. So why don't you take an opportunity for yourself? Give yourself the opportunity, sorry. And check this out. Check if this is something you want to do. Everything is online. It works on automation. You don't have to have any experience. You don't have to be tech savvy. We will teach you from scratch. Everything you need to know, we will show you. All right, so the kiddie booms are crying. I have to end it here. I'll come back to you another time. Let me go check up on them and also focus on this meat pie. I'll speak to you guys some other time. It's, it's sad I have to cut it short. They are demanding my attention. So I'll catch you guys later. But think about it. If you're interested, reach out to me directly or just go on my website, www.jenniferadio.com. Register yourself with your name and email and I'll get back to you. Or you can reach me on WhatsApp, plus 447951-880382. And I'll get back to you. Ask me any question you want to know about this business and I'll be happy to, to sort you out. Have a blessed weekend, guys, and take very good care of yourselves. Don't forget to smile. See you later. Bye. Okay, the girl has stopped crying. Okay, but I still have to go. <laughs> take care, everybody. Bye.